I want to start with the defense tonight. Though. What, what, when you guys are flying around at that level, what are the things that you look to first? Like, what are the indicators of defense being effective like that? Oh, the disposition. You know, how mad are we? We got embarrassed on Sunday uh, against the Clippers. Uh, we were all on a long flight, angry about uh, how that game went. And our mindset was to take it out on, on the Raptors, and we did. You know, both with great ball movement and uh, an angry, nasty defensive disposition. Um, we executed our coverages with a high level of focus and detail. And, um, you know, we brought, brought a great disposition, great defensive disposition to the game. Frank, Caruso was talking about the, for the three point looks, it's more about shot quality. Uh, and you've preached that, I know, all year. How do you, how do you square that at the same time as having a lot of turnovers? And uh, do, do those, like, how do you have both good ball movement and then also a lot of turnovers? And, and how did that play out today? Yeah, I mean, we had too many turnovers, but um, you know, a lot of that was because they got they got down 30 and started junking the game up. You know, full court pressure, um, you know, zones and switchings and traps traps in half court. Um, we didn't always handle it, uh, you know, as well as we needed to. But, um, you know, you're going to get easy buckets or they're going to force turnovers in that type of environment. So when a game, when a team junks it up, uh, you know, might have a higher turnover rate than normal. But you know, I was happy with how we, we moved the basketball, hunted high quality shots, uh, didn't sell for mid range, and um, as a result, we got hot from behind the arc. And that's from, uh, one for me, quick. Just your, your thoughts on Mark continuing his uh, his play, Mark Soul. Yeah, he's he's been great. You know, uh, like I said, his his job is to facilitate offensively and uh, you know to give us perimeter shooting and be a great screener. And he was all three of those tonight. And then you know, obviously he's. Uh, an elite defensive center. So, um, you know, he had a great two-way performance tonight. Hey. Frank, staying on Mark, so he scores the season nine points, ties season nine for rebounds, ties season nine blocks, and before the game, you said you're hopeful you can throw him in the next game against Miami. Does this give you something to ponder when it comes to your starting lineup uh, against the Heat? No. No, we're going to start Andre. Um, you know, that's what we signed him here for. You know, we feel like, uh, first of all, we need to get him a ton of minutes to, uh, to get him acclimated in our system with only X amount of games before the playoffs. And, um, you know, he'll be our starter, you know. Um, but like I said, we said this from you know, the, the, the whole time through. Uh, we need all, all three of those guys. And all three of them are really good players. They're going to help us win a championship. So, um, but no, it doesn't change that. Hi. Hey, Frank, allow me to be the first to ask you post game uh, about Ben McLemore and, and what he brings to the group, and, and maybe um, if anything about your series against Houston last year informed your experience with Ben. Allie, can I comment on that? Is it official? Yeah, it is official, yes. Yeah, well, you know, he's, he's a guy that you know, we had to know where he was at all times in that Houston series uh, because he's such an elite shooter. And, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're trying to win a championship here, so as much firepower as we can get, as many weapons as we can get, we're going to try to get. And, um, you know, Ben, you know, instantly elevates our, our ability to knock down threes uh, on the backside when double teams come and to, and to play the drive and kick game that, you know, the modern NBA is, is made on. So uh, you know, we're, we're thrilled about his addition and looking, looking forward to getting him, um, you know, into, into some minutes and into our program. Last two questions, uh, Dan. Hey, Frank. Um, two quick ones. Uh, Alex's sort of effort in time, you talked about disposition and stuff like that. I think he's a guy at the floor for two or three different loose balls in that game. Um, well, I, I guess, what does that bring you to your group when, when you've got a guy selling out like that, first of all? Uh, that's, what we will, that's what we ask of our entire team. You know, we want to be first to 50-50 balls. We want to dive on the floor. We want to be the team that's playing harder than our opponent every night. It's the number one habit that you establish during the regular season, and it becomes instinctual as the playoffs come around. Okay, you don't have to flip a switch or elevate your play. Okay, we always play that hard. And um, you know, Alex is just one of those guys that that's how he plays no matter what the situation is. You know, that's why we love Alex. That's why Alex has helped us win a championship last year. So um, you know, definitely elevates the group when you see a guy hustle and playing as hard as that. Uh, but it's what we demand of our whole group. Last 
And then, do you know when Ben will join you guys? Is the plan to have him for Thursday? Uh, from what I understand, I mean, we still have to clear some things, but he's going to join us in Miami tonight, uh, tonight or yeah, I think tonight. And um, you know, we won't have practice tomorrow, but he'll be available to uh, you know, providing the testing goes as, as scheduled. Uh, he's been testing, and he should be able to join us right away. And last, uh, go on. There you go. Sorry about that. Hey Frank, um, Keith has been in double figures in five of the last six games, and then seven of ten overall. Uh, what kind of offensive boost has he given you guys? Especially it seems like earlier in games, in the kind of first quarters and in the first halves. Yeah, he's been like the unsung hero of this of this stretch. You know, I don't think anybody's talking about. Uh, Keeps contributions enough, uh, and it's not just on the offensive side of the ball. Like he scored the ball tonight, um, you know he's he's having to guard seemingly uh, you know uh, an elite sort of three four uh, each night, and uh, is doing a great job with that while you know carrying some of the load offensively as well. You know he got red hot in the first half from behind behind the arc, and uh, you know in the post and mid range, you know he was he was doing it in a, in a bunch of ways, and um, you know, his toughness exemplifies who we want to be in terms of being a team that plays more physical than our opponent. So um, he was terrific tonight.